We must do more. That's Governor Asa Hutchinson's message to Arkansans who have not been vaccinated for COVID-19 yet. Thanks for watching. I'm Roly Hoyt. As of this afternoon, more than 547,000 people in the state are fully vaccinated against the virus, which is about 23% of the eligible population. As you can see, the percentage of unvaccinated Arkansans continues to drop and has gone down almost five percentage points in the last week. But there's one area that has health officials concerned are Kansans who are only partially vaccinated. It turns out some of us are skipping out on that second shot. But THV 11's Mercedes McKay talks to experts who explain why that second dose is necessary. This is very concerning for top state health officials and pharmacists because full immunity cannot be achieved until at least two weeks after that second dose. So those who are choosing to skip out on it could be catching the virus and spreading it in our community. We need to get to 70 percent and, and this is a team approach. Everyone is part of that. 70%. It's the magic number to really go back to normal life or a new normal. 70% of the population needs to step in line, but they need to do that twice. Our estimates are that about 12 or 13 percent of people who should have gotten a second dose uh, by this time frame have not. And that's a higher number than Dr. Jennifer Dillahay with the Arkansas Department of Health believes it should be. The CDC recommends the shot be given prior to 42 days after that first dose. And in the last few weeks, the state started digging into those numbers to find any kind of pattern. We think that uh, many of those people who are missing their second dose were perhaps vaccinated at a uh, community event or clinic. That trend proving itself just this past week at a local mass vaccination clinic. Our first time around, we did about 750 injections and for this last Friday I only drew up about 670 injections. Pharmacist Leland Stice says about 10 to 15 percent of the people he gives shots to are no shows the second time around. They're not contacting us and giving us the reasons why they're just uh, not showing up for that second appointment. Some either forgot or had something else come up according to pharmacist Lynn Fruche. We keep a list of everyone who got their shot the day of the first shot and then we'll call them to try to get them up there. Sometimes that's successful and sometimes it's not, but Fruche believes there's a bigger issue at hand. It seems to me that the sense of urgency has declined. Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News. Now, Dr. Delahaye says if you go six weeks without getting that second dose, don't worry. Experts still want you to go and get it, and they say you don't need to go back and start the whole vaccination series over. Now, some people are holding out to not even have to worry about a second dose by trying to get that one dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine. If that's you, the city of Conway wants to help. It's putting on a clinic this Friday where people 18 and older can get the one dose shot. It's happening at the Don Owen Sports Center from noon until 8 p.m. You can register on the city's website or calling the Central Fire Station.